So let's take a look at that. So I could add this one. I'm not going to do that here, but instead I'm going to say, let's give this information on a quarter by quarter breakout, hitting this drop down and looking at the quarters, running that. So now I've got the first, second, third, fourth quarter. There's nothing in the first two quarters, but you could see what it would look like if there were and the total. So you can see the total is still here. If I had a normal income statement and this total, it would be redundant information. However, that redundancy might be justified given the fact that you want a simplified income statement and then one that has more data in it. So that's kind of, again, the decisions you would need to make. Notice if we're at the end of the year, the quarter by quarter comparison is gonna include four quarters. It's going to be looking different if you're in January. You're not going to have a quarter by quarter comparison because no quarters have passed. That's why, uh, depending on where you are in the year, you might have different bundles. A month by month bundle versus a quarter end bundle versus a year end bundle or something like that. Because at the end of the quarters, you might have a quarter by quarter comparison or something like that. Year end reports might look a little bit different than a mid you know, month bundle of reports or something like that. So let's, let's save this one and, and make it our quarter report. So what I'm going to do is just change the name. So I'm going to, I'm going to call it an income statement by quarter or something like income statement by quarter. And then I'm going to get rid of this, uh, this date range. Cause that's not really useful. I have the dates down below. So let's customize it up top here and say that I want to get rid of the headers the uh the report period i'm going to remove that and so let's save that one i'm going to copy this name i'm just going to copy it and then i'm going to go to customize i'm sorry not customize i'm going to say save customization and let's name this number two and income statement by quarter putting that in place check it out back to the first tab to see if it did what we thought it should Re refresh the screen see if it pulls in as we would expect so there it is there's number two